Actually, one of the gifts that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed for his slaves within this month is the gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants to us during the last 10 nights of Ramadan. And that is none other than Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree and the night of honor. For verily the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that مَنْ قَامَ لَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِ Whoever stands the night of decree and night of honor, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive for him the sins that he had previously committed. And one of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made you know, incumbent or necessary or encouraged rather for the believers is this idea of al-i'tikaf so we're able to get this night. What is i'tikaf? I'tikaf, my dear brother, my dear sister, is a few nights or a few moments you choose that a person decides he will use to spend only in the worship of Allah Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal. Does it have a certain time that limit? Does it not have a certain time limit? Does it have to happen in the last 10 nights alone or the first 10 is okay as well, the second 10 and so on and so forth? We'll be discussing a lot of that bi-ithnillahi ta'ala today. But generally they say al-i'tikaf means to remain. Okay, that is linguistically. And more particularly, in terms of a technical meaning, it means for a specific person to remain in a specific scenario for the worship of Allah Rabbul Izzati Wal Jalal. So al-i'tikaf then is to remain. And what are we remaining for? We are remaining for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it was from the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to remain in the masjid for certain times of the year, right? And he has done it actually sallallahu alayhi wa sallam outside of Ramadan as well. So it was his sunnah to do that in order for him to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And specifically, one goal that he had, which was obvious from the pattern in which the Prophet ﷺ did his i'tikaf was that he was looking for Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree. Even Rasulullah ﷺ, he did i'tikaf, he remained within the masjid to look for the night of decree. To a degree that the Messenger ﷺ, in some traditions, he said he even found it on a specific night. And then he explained, but I had been made to forgotten afterwards. So that again his ummah will continue to uh, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throughout the 10 nights or more or less as we'll discuss sooner than later bi ta'ala. I'tikaf is considered a sunnah. It's considered something that is encouraged. It's, con- it's considered something that is very, very applauded and appreciated within the sharia by the consensus of the Islamic scholars. It's a sunnah. It's not an obligation. And it is, it is not indifferent. It is a sunnah, and this is by the consensus of the Islamic scholars. However, there is a case in which this sunnah can then go and become something even more than a sunnah, an obligation. And that is when a person takes it upon himself and vows, okay? He vows that I will make i'tikaf for 10 days. He vows saying, ah, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, upon me is to you know, do i'tikaf for such and such amount of days. So he's now vowed. Basically, he's taken it upon himself. So this makes it an obligation, whereas before that, it was merely something that is sunnah. Not merely as in not disdaining it or looking down upon it. It is a great act of worship, but it is not an obligation yet. However, if a person vows it, takes an oath that he will be doing it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it becomes an obligation. So other than that, it is a sunnah. The Prophet ﷺ did this sunnah. He did it in the first 10 nights. The Prophet ﷺ, he did it in the second 10 nights. The Prophet ﷺ, he did it in the last 10 nights as well. Again, all of this was happening because he ﷺ was in search for the night of decree. And for that reason, some scholars, they said that it's possible for the night of decree or the night of honor, and I call it that because that's a closer translation than the night of power, for example, which is quite famous, right? So the night of decree and the night of honor, it's possible, some scholars, they said that it could be during the entire 30 days and not specific to the last 10 nights. However, the messenger found it within the last 10 nights. And then he said, I have been made now to forget where it was, but I know it was in the last 10. Iltamisuha fil ashrin awakhir. So go and search for this night of decree and honor within the last 10 
10 nights. Because of that, the Messenger said, 